What's up Frontier crew? So I just wanted to make a uh, fast video here about the uh, diminishing returns on Bitcoin and what to expect. So the first halving Bitcoin uh, was around $12 at the halving and it it uh, it went up to like over a thousand dollars. So it was basically a 93X. It was a 93X. So on the second halving, uh, it, you know, it made a run and it, uh, I forgot how high it went, but it was basically, it got a 30X on the second, after the second halving at all time high. So if you divide the second having the, the uh, all-time high with the first having all-time high, the difference is a is 3.1, you know. And so, you know, diminishing returns between the having in 2012 and the having in 2016 versus, you know, with the all-time highs. So, uh, so then we move on to the, uh, so remember that number, 3.1. So now let's move on to the third halving, which was in uh, 2020. And uh, of course, Bitcoin got up to like 69K, which is basically an 8X after the halving. So, from the third halving to the second halving, all-time highs was 3.7. Okay, you say, well, that's diminishing returns. So what are we expecting this time around? Well, so we just had we just went through the halving. Bitcoin was at 65k on the day of the halving. So we're going to assume that it's going to get a, a, at least somewhere in that three range, you know, 3x, that diminishing return. So I figure 2.5, see, is that 3.2. Remember the first time where 30 went into 93, that was 3.1. The second time I showed you, was eight going into 30, which was 3.7. And now you have two and a half going into eight, 3.2, diminishing returns. So two and a half X, the day of the halving, Bitcoin was at 65,000, which was April the 19th. So times 2.5, 160, just say $163,000 should be the all time high for Bitcoin in this cycle. You just, I just did the math on diminishing returns. Now, could it get higher than that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, Global economic collapse, World War III, uh, civil unrest in countries all around the world, uh, various other things like hyperinflation. So yeah, people escaping uh, with their, with well, with what's left of their finances into solid assets that uh, will save them from poverty. So yeah, there's a lot of variables that could cause this price to go up. But as a rule of thumb, as a rule of thumb based on diminishing returns, based on realistic expectations of what we need to look for, other than outside factors, this does not include outside factors. We should be looking at somewhere between 160,000 to 170,000 all time high in this bull market cycle based on diminishing returns. And until it plays out differently from that, that's exactly what I'm going to go with. 
We are in a four-year market cycle until it plays out differently. Uh, you know, the ETFs have not really changed the game like we thought it would. So um, until, until something changes, nothing has changed. And with that said, y'all stay frosty out there.